Living in South America, the pros and cons. With what we've seen across the globe, we want to believe that living in South America is a getaway for people who can't cope with the sophistication of Europe and the US and with the hardship of Asia and Africa. For such people, South America is a great place to call home. We just love the continent. However, we're certain that living in South America isn't just for everyone. Everything about life in South America isn't that positive. There certainly are pros and cons of living in South America. It's important to know these before you uproot yourself from your present location to plant your life in a new place. We've seen expats and others who didn't consider all these before moving to South America. In this video, we present the pros and cons of living in South America for your consideration. Let's start with the pros. 1. It's cheap to live there. The cost of living in South America is very low. If you're moving from a country where items are priced in dollar and euro, you'll find that it's cheap to live there. You can live in affluence when you're making anything between $1,000 and $2,000 per month. There are some places you can be living in South America and spend even as low as $800 to $1,000 a month. While these might sound pretty tempting, you must know that living costs vary from one location to the next, and the margin can be very wide. We've seen people renting a decent two-bedroom house for $500 per month or less and having dinners at world-class restaurants with a bottle of wine for just $30. This affordability is the number pro of living in South America. 2. Wonderful beaches South American countries are among the most biologically and ecologically diverse places in the world. While living in South America, there are wonderful beaches you can be passing through every day. Thus, by merely doing routine things such as going to work, you can relax on one of those beaches and enjoy what nature has to offer. These beaches are everywhere in different sizes for different purposes. The Mancora Beach in Peru, also known as the Hawaii of Peru, Gardner Bay in Ecuador, El Cabo San Juan in Colombia, Lopez Mendez in Brazil and Montanita Surf in Ecuador are just a few of hundreds of great beaches in South America. The continent has it all. 3. Friendly people A very interesting pro of living in South America is that the people are friendly. For instance, why Uruguay is considered safe because of its friendly locals. The situation is the same in many other countries of the continent. Therefore, there is virtually no part of the towns you'd visit without seeing people showing personal interest in you. There are friendly faces at beaches, restaurants, bars and pubs willing to offer support. It won't be hard to find willing-hearted individuals to lend a helping hand. One good thing about living in South America, especially in their communities, is that people care about one another's welfare. That's a very good thing about living in South America. 4. Delicious food there is no shortage of delicious foods in South America. The continent always welcomes travelers with nice cuisines. Whatever your choice is, you will always find anything to tantalize your taste buds. It should surprise no one that a continent with some 450 languages is rich in diverse foods and drinks suitable for their multitude of ecosystems. That is a pro of living in South America. Ceviche, a popular seafood dish that got its start in Peru, has become popular in South and Central America. Arepas is a kind of flatbread sandwich that is a product of ground maize dough or cooked flour. This food from Venezuela can be filled with cheese, meat, eggs or anything of your choice. We can also refer to pisco sour from Chile or Peru, yerba mate from Argentina, pastel from Brazil and platanos fritos found almost everywhere in the continent among many others. 5. Language Language can be considered a con or pro of living in South America depending on your leanings. As mentioned earlier, there are about 450 languages on the continent. This may make it somewhat difficult to select a general language to learn. However, it is more of a pro as it gives those living in South America an opportunity to be exposed to different languages, some of which are spoken in other continents. In most countries, Spanish is the official language. It's Portuguese in other parts of the continent, while others speak Dutch or English. Hindi and Arabic are also spoken. The commonest local languages in South America are Quechua in the Andean region, Garani in Paraguay and surrounding area, Aymara in Peru and Bolivia, Mapudungun in Chile, Guajiro in Venezuela and Colombia, Embera in Colombia, Paez in Colombia and Ashaninka in Peru and Brazil.
6. Religion South America is a continent where you can practice your religion without hindrances. In almost every country there, the law guarantees freedom of religion and conscience. Religion is separate from the state. Though Christianity is the biggest religion in the continent, with Roman Catholic being the popular denomination, there are other religious groups such as Islam, Judaism and Protestantism. It's a pro of living in America because you will be able to practice your religion even as you see its influence on art, culture, philosophy and law. 7. Great health care The last of the pros of living in South America that I will mention here is the great health care. Health care in the continent is relatively cheaper and qualitative. It's even easy for many expats to select from several options of health insurance – and those that don't have health insurance coverage can get the treatment they need for as little as $50 per month. This covers 100% of in-network providers. Now let's discuss the cons. 1. Corruption The fight against corruption is still on in South America and the continent is not about to win the battle. Prosecuting those cases has brought about serious backlashes. Control institutions have been accused of violating defendants' rights. This permeates the entire continent. The only countries on the continent with fewer cases of corruption are Chile and Uruguay. The inability to unravel scandals such as the Petrobras and Odebrecht, for example, has affected the entire region. Now, many more political and business figures in the continent are under closer scrutiny. 2. Safety Matters of safety have become of more serious concern in recent times in South America, so you've got to be street smart and be sure you have a good sense of direction when you go out in many of the cities on the continent to know when danger looms. But the fact is that you can't always predict or anticipate danger. The most nagging trend threatening the safety of South America are drug trafficking and related criminal activity. They also have to cope with gangsterism, which increases the rates of homicides, burglary and theft. 3. Inefficiency You might not see the quality of services you used to get in Europe and the US in this continent. That's a serious con of living in South America. Apart from their low quality, those services are also very slow. And their pace is erratic. Therefore, you the expat planning on moving to South America have to be prepared against getting frustrated at how things are handled on this continent and how long things can take to get done. Tardiness is not frowned at even in business settings. Government administrative processes or requirements are continually changing. Just prepare your mind against this con of living in South America. 4. Traffic Traffic is a serious issue in major cities in South America. Too many man-hours are wasted every day inside traffic. On other smooth roads, crashes occur too frequently, which makes it one of the leading causes of death in some South American countries. In remote areas across deserts, snow-capped mountains and tropical rainforests, miles of highways are needed to connect cities. Unfortunately, the diversity of those landscapes makes it difficult to link communities together, thus complicating the traffic situation. 5. Poverty Poverty has maintained a tight grip in South America up till now, despite all efforts being geared toward poverty eradication. No country in South America is free from poverty. South American countries like Bolivia, Guyana, Suriname and Venezuela have very high rates of poverty and are among the poorest in the world. They have the highest per capita poverty rate where most people live on $4 per day. As you move northward of the continent, you'll see countries with the largest headcount of impoverished people in the world, where 20% to 40% of the population are in abject poverty. Please note that some of the positives and negatives of living in South America are just general information. Also, bear in mind that all of them may not appear in all the 12 countries and territories making up the continent. So, by carefully selecting a specific place to live, you may, after all, enjoy living in South America by taking advantage of the pros. Thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe, comment, and turn on the notification bell.